Hey guys, what's up? We're back with another wine video. Now I don't know about you, but I really miss traveling. So much so that I've actually bought these mini wines. These mini wines are airplane wines, and these are sold by Cebu Pacific on their flights. So it's quite pricey in flight as with all food and beverage is in Cebu Pacific flights. But since Cebu Pacific has had a surplus of these, they've actually been selling these through their employees. I was able to get my hands on these for a really good value. Six bottles for 440 pesos. The going rate right now if you buy it online is around 250 pesos as well. And by the way, I got this from a friend who works in Cebu Pacific. I just wore some Cebu Pacific colors. This isn't the Cebu Pacific flight attendant uniform, but if I look like it, I think I wouldn't look too bad. Anyway, let's get started. As you see, these are really flight friendly. They're plastic, comes with a plastic cup, sealed quite nicely. Having had these in flight before, they always tasted really good, maybe because it's the excitement of a flight, excitement of a trip coming up. I've never tasted it outside of the flight. How are these wines gonna fare without the excitement of a trip? These bottles are at 187 milliliters. It's exactly a fourth of a normal bottle. If you're buying it at 250 pesos, it's definitely expensive. Let's see if it stacks up. So these are French wines, branded as one wine. They are coming from the Paydoc region, from the bigger Languedoc Rossillon region. I hope I said that right. So we'll first try the white. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. What do you think, guys? Should we drink it from the bottle or... In flight, I drink it from the bottle. <laughs> While we're here, let's open all of it. I'm not aerating it because I don't feel like it's gonna make too much of a difference anyway. I want it to taste like how it would taste in flight. So this rosé is said to be a blend of Grenache and one more varietal. Um, I think it's this one. And lastly, the red is a Merlot. This is what I've had. We can only reminisce now, can we guys? The color is quite yellowish and goldish already. Since this is a Sauvignon Blanc, I guess this bottle might have been sitting out for a while. And of course, these are Cebu Pacific surplus bottles. And it's not so Blanc as Sauvignon Blanc should look like. It looks closer to a, a Chardonnay or a Chenin Blanc. It smells a little old already, a little cardboardish. Yeah, not much I can really abstract from this. Feels a little oxidated, but not that it feels ruined. So let's give it a try. And one from the bottom. That's actually not bad, guys. As a French wine, it has that old world restraint. It's not a Sauv Blanc that has too much zinc, pear, grapefruit, typical of Sauvignon Blanc. It doesn't have those, but it's not bad. It, I, I wouldn't really complain. If I got this and I was in flight, I'd be in heaven. I mean, if I'm like about to arrive at the destination. And... It's all right, I was expecting it to be worse. So let's move on to the rosé. So the color of this, you see that it might have been sitting inside the bottle for a bit too long already. I mean, if, if somebody told you this was like brandy, you'd believe him, right? So, doesn't smell any different from the Sauvignon Blanc. A bit of a heavier texture. Uh, both these wines have a short finish. There are no flavors, notes for you to dissect. So far, I think I like the rosé better. Nothing really fancy, nothing great about these. But to be honest, I've had worse wines. Wines that have either residual sugar, maybe too aerated, too oxidized. These would be decent table wines, like quite casual. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad, Cebu Pacific. And the last one. For the color of this, it's also leaning towards an almost brownish burgundy type of look. Okay, it's starting to open up. I'm getting green textures. 
if this was a blind test, I may be thinking that it's a Carmenere from Chile. That's the closest thing that I could think about right now. This Merlot has a bit of spice, but it dies very quickly. No lingering taste, no strong finish. For that very brief moment, that Merlot stays there. No hints of oak, no hints of strong berries, but it's quite nice. It's quite decent. Slightly tannic now that I've drank quite a bit. To be honest, I was expecting these to be a lot worse. I always thought that I find it decent because of the thrill of the trip, but now that I've had these, I chilled them a little bit as they would coming off the galley, so it's quite nice. So how would I rate it? I would rate this probably a 6 out of 10 for the rosé, i give it a 6.3. And for the Merlot, for the red, not too complicated, maybe let's give it a 6.8. Nothing to write home about, it's not complex. But it doesn't lack flavor either. I feel like a giant when I'm next to these. So is it worth it to spend 250 pesos on this when you see it online? I think I really wouldn't. At 250 pesos, you can get a good Australian, you can get a good Chilean wine from SM for pure gold. If you were in flight, maybe you have a trip to Boracay. Or If they still do sell these in flight, I don't I don't know what the policies are. These are fine. I've done quite a number of recommendations of wines below 300, 400, 500, and even 600. If you have time, guys, check that out. While this was alright, it wasn't great, but it's better than what I expected. So thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this little wine tasting, little Cebu Pacific getaway that we have. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And cheers! Happy drinking!